Another stabbing incident coming out of Woolwich, a district southeast of London. Sky News reports a man in his mid-20s was stabbed only about 300 yards from Wednesday's scene where a British soldier was brutally murdered. But authorities don't believe the stabbing is related to Wednesday's incident that is now being considered a terrorist attack. This most recent incident is not believed to have caused life-threatening injuries to the victim. Police are still gathering information and searching for suspects. In the meantime, family and friends of Wednesday's stabbing victim, drummer Lee Rigby, mourn his death as authorities try to bring justice. Immediately after Rigby's murder, an onlooker captured this man on video with bloodied hands and still holding the weapons believed to be used in the slaying. He has now been identified as 28-year-old Michael Edibalajo. He and another suspect were shot by police before being detained. They are both in stable condition as they continue to recover in separate hospitals. However, authorities have now discovered Edibalajo was previously arrested in Kenya in 2010. Anti-terrorism officials in Kenya have been uh, quoted as saying that he was arrested because it was believed that he was trying to train and fight with the Al-Shabaab Islamist militants in Somalia. Edibalajo, who is a British citizen, claimed that while being detained in Kenya, he was tortured and sexually assaulted before being deported back to Britain without being charged. The Independent reports after the incident, members of his family said he was pestered by MI5 agents, pressuring him to become an informant for them and infiltrate radical Islamic extremist groups. Edibalajo's brother-in-law claimed constant demands to get him to spy on Muslim clerics might have pushed him over the edge. British authorities also continue to look beyond Edibalajo in their investigation. On Saturday, three additional arrests were made on suspicion to commit murder. Two of the individuals actually had to be tasered before being taken into custody in an investigation that is complex and rapidly developing. Since Wednesday, some eight individuals have been taken into custody. Of those eight, three have been released from custody. The British government is now reportedly in talks to form an extremist task force aimed at examining the presence of extremist groups in the country. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.